Well, I think in the short term, one of the issues they are obviously wrestling with um, is this insurrection charge. It was not one that um, I think a lot of outside legal commentators um, really thought they would go for. Um, it's a um, historically unique um, kind of charge. Um, it would require uh, showing that uh, Trump aided and abetted them. Um, and there's some question as to whether this could be proven. But I think it's extremely important, both short term and long long term for the American people to see, as you are showing so aptly on the screen right now, that those images, that that insurrection that Trump was responsible for has legal consequences. And I think by putting that front and center, this has always been about insurrection. Insurrection was the charge in the impeachment article that ultimately did not carry uh, the Senate. This is what it has been about um, all along. And I think um, you've seen Liz Cheney, you've seen uh, Representative Braskin both zero in on this insurrection because that is the ultimate betrayal of one's office. Mm -hmm. And as you point out, that has within it the potential to exclude him from holding office again. It's a little murky, frankly, whether a conviction in and of itself would do it, if Congress would have to come back, if there'd be some other legal proceeding. Uh, the framers did not uh, spell out in great detail um, the, what they uh, wanted in uh, the 14th Amendment, Section 3. But however it's done, I think it would be a very powerful statement for the country, given all of the facts that they have accumulated, that the uh, Congress puts this forth. Then the special counsel, Jack Smith, is going to have to make his own decision. He's going to have other considerations. He's got to consider whether he thinks he can get a jury beyond a reasonable doubt to prove each of these charges. So his responsibility is, I think, a little different. Theirs is a political one, a historical one, and really one that sustains Congress's ability to investigate and present to the country very important matters. Jill, I want you to, to weigh in on all of this, but and I want to make sure to ask you, you, this week you had the Trump special counsel subpoenaing Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, and I wonder if that signals anything to you about the Justice Department's investigation. I think what we're looking at is the Justice Department is really speeding up its investigation and expanding it. It is an investigation now of all of the elements that relate to the obstruction and the uh, uh, the transfer of power, the election interference, so that we're now looking at the fake electors. They're probably looking at the Pence pressure. They're looking at all of the things that judges even have said. Uh, it's more likely than not, it's more probable than not, that Trump and Eastman committed a crime. You have another judge, Meta, who said that it is true that Trump incited the violence of January 6th. So they're not focused only on January 6th and the violence of that day. But they're looking at all of the other schemes that Donald Trump led to interfere with the transfer of power and to interfere with the vote of the people.